What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out the Steam branch of Soul Lash. Uh, this is a demo of the graphically upgraded game that's available in early access on itch.io. So to like clarify, this is a game where you are an evil dark god who has returned after thousands of years of slumber. You're very, very weak, and your goal is to slowly work your way up the ladder, consuming souls until you're strong enough to take on entire armies and whatnot by yourself. Uh, you can do that in many forms. You can be a dark orcish god. You can be a dark dwarvish god. You can be a dark elf. You can be a goblin. Like, you can really just pick and choose what you want to play as. Uh, but this game has two separate games, basically. So the Steam branch that I'm playing right now is the same as the itch.io, except it's been upgraded like the same way that Dwarf Fortress is working on a graphic upgrade before they go into Steam. Solash is doing the same thing. So if after watching this video you wanted to get it for yourself, if you want the full early access, but only in ASCII, you can go to the itch.io link. However, this demo on Steam, which previews the new graphics, is available right now as well uh, for limited play sessions, and I think the game is scheduled to come out on Steam at some point. Uh, the developers had a Kickstarter to basically graphically overhaul the game and bring it on over to Steam, but I don't think they made it quite yet. Uh, but they're still persevering despite not having their Kickstarter go through. Uh, so anyways, let's dive on into a new game. We get to pick a couple things here right at the beginning of Soul Lash. We gotta decide on our stats, we gotta decide on our race, and we've gotta decide on our profession. Uh, we can start out as a human, so basically our champion that's returning us will be a human. Uh, it looks like humans get plus one to all of their stats, and they get hungry much slower than everybody else. We have the Dark Dwarf. He starts with Endurance plus two and Willpower plus two, and they can see in the dark, which is actually kind of a big deal in this game, because this game's a lot like Unreal World, both in control and function, in the sense that once nighttime arrives, you're not doing anything because your vision cone is going to be so limited that you can't see what's happening, and it's a big risk for you. Uh, we've got the goblins over here. They can also see in the dark, and it looks like they get a bonus to dexterity and endurance. We've got the dark elf over here, which seems to be one of the caster options. We've got a vampire over on this side. Uh, he's got, ah, thirst and hunger is replaced by bloodlust, so they've got to drink blood in order to get by. We've got the troll on this side, regenerates health very quickly, but is super dumb, gets hungry really fast but actually gets some pretty good stats to strength so their hit chance is probably pretty good uh, we have the orc over here which is basically the troll light uh, they get rid of the faster healing in exchange for a higher chance to hit and slightly lower bonuses uh, to strength and then we've got a lich over here which is intelligence and willpower and it looks like they've got to drain life essence from their enemies which i've actually never played around with and then we have the rasimi who have dexterity they have strength they have endurance and they can see in the dark and they move faster than everybody else Let's try the Racimi out. It looks like they start with a dagger and a shirt. And it looks like crafting recipes we start out with are pretty much the basic recipes that everybody else starts out with, too. Uh, for our class, we can decide if we want to be a Fallen Knight, a Poacher, a Warlock, a Berserker, a Nomad, a Necromancer, a Cultist. Okay, so they perform rituals to forgotten or dark gods. They will do anything to get a blessing from their master. And then we've also got the Inquisitor over here. Sort of dig the Inquisition idea. Let's do the Inquisition idea. We get Immolate. Nice, dude. We can light people on fire. Hell yeah. Okay, uh, so we probably want to go... We'll go, like, one into Strength and, like, one into Endurance. And then it looks like Willpower improves our Magical Resistance, our Hearing. Uh, it makes us get hungry and thirsty slower. It looks like we regenerate Fatigue faster. Okay. Uh, we'll probably go with some intelligence then over here just to kind of like bump it up ever so slightly because I'm pretty sure this is linked to intelligence right here. Yeah, so every two points gives us plus one damage to this guy right here. Okay, yeah, we'll just throw that in there. I don't know if I'm making good decisions right now or if I'm making bad decisions. My last couple characters have all been berserkers and dark knights. Uh, I find that with roguelikes and whatnot, it's usually easier to... And so another thing to keep in mind is that this game is a roguelike. Uh, so this is a survival roguelike, and actually the best game that I could compare it to is Unreal World. Uh, the control scheme is nearly identical to Unreal World. Uh, the general core gameplay loop of finding food and, like, you know, making weapons and getting yourself ready to survive is also a key component of this game. But you're going to be kind of, like, sniping people out of villages, basically, and, like, murdering them along the fringes of town during dusk and then, like, running back to your home. So, like, if we die, you die for good in this game. So here we are, imprisoned for eons and banished from my own home. I finally made it back. It looks different than I left it. 
but it's been so long. There's no time to waste. I'm sure whoever lives in this realm has seen me cross the veil. This body that I've taken, it's very, very weak. I need to gather souls and regain my old strength. I hope this flesh can hold my presence. Alright, so basically the way that the game works, you see how there's like that little blue arrow right there? You can just barely see it. But anyways, the little blue arrow right there is the direction that we're facing. And with Q and E, you can rotate in place to look around. We can hold down shift to investigate things. So there's a brokish elven archer over here. It actually looks like our spawning killed a bunch of wizards. Uh, so let's have a look real fast. I think we've spawned in a different spot than what I'm used to. When I was playing as the orc, we were right next to kind of like a, a rivery area. I guess this looks like I've started out in the midst of a forest and there was something over there. Do you see that red square? That's your perception. So you're hearing something moving over there. Uh, if we go to I, we have our equipment right now. I'm going to equip. Oh, we have an extra dagger. So we have two daggers and we have a torch. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's take a look around. It looks like there's a mushroom over here. It might be edible. Sure, throw it in the backpack. You never know when you're going to need to eat. Let's talk about the UI. So we've got our HP at the top. We've got our stamina right there. Your stamina goes down every time you do any activity. And then you can press the R key, and that's going to make you rest for a second. Basically, it's the difference in like D&D between a short rest and a long rest. A uh, short rest will give you some of your stamina back. You'll regenerate a little bit of health. You might get like mana or whatever your resource is back. But the meter on your stamina is going to get cut down. It's going to get shorter every time you do that. Uh, if you hold shift, and you do a capital R, you'll actually lay down and go to sleep until all of the fatigue is gone. And so just something to keep in mind about playing the game. Let's uncover some of the map here. We got another mushroom right there. I can scavenge that. That sounds good. Uh, we don't really have a great place to fall back to at the moment. When I was playing as the orc, you start out with your own house. And I don't know if it's, like, randomized. I think the map is more or less the same every time. But, like, the parts of it are going to be changed around ever so slightly. And so I'm guessing that every race has their own spawn area. It said there was something... Oh, there's something over here. What's over here? Oh, there's a little fox. Is that what that is? Yeah, there's a red fox over here. Let's blast him with some magic, dude. There we go. Light that fool on fire. And then we can attack him. Oh, he's dead. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's butcher him real fast, I think. Oh, I can drink his blood? Interesting. Oh, I can't butcher. I guess a dagger doesn't count as a knife. Uh, so anyways, you can butcher corpses after you kill people. It doesn't matter if they're human. It doesn't matter if they're dwarvish or if it's like a cow. You are a monster in this game, and you can eat just about everything. And so anyways, I was thinking that I would cut him up using this dagger right here. But I guess we can't butcher with a dagger. I suppose you need a knife in order to butcher. There's another one over here. How much XP did we get? Two XP for killing a fox? Okay. Well, there's another fox right there. So another two XP, I guess. It's not much, but we've consumed our first souls. Okay, that's all you need to know. Is that in the whole soul-eating process, we have soul-eaten for the first time. Uh, I'm going to rest up for a minute with the R key. You can see the meter filling back up in right there. I very much like the contextual things with all the various meters in this game. Uh, I like how it partially fills up and then that, or I guess it partially fades out and then fills up from there. Like, this is basically a classic roguelike, but it's got, like, modern quality of life and visual display things going on that I think work out. Dude, why are there so many foxes in these woods? So many foxes around. I'm going to light this one on fire too, dude. Yup. Like a browser out here. Just fiery foxes everywhere. What is that? A rabbit? I don't think we need the rabbit. I think the rabbit we can leave alone. Although finding some food and finding out where the hell we are and where the nearest village is would be a good idea too. There's another rabbit right there. Oh, there's a fish man right here. Good. Fishmen sometimes have knives. It means we're probably near a water source. Would be my guess, but he hasn't seen me because he hasn't turned around. There's one right there. We'll light his ass on fire. Boom, baby. And then we'll just get to the stabbing. You can see a preview of his HP over on this side, just in case you're wondering where that's at. Uh, we're just going to DPS him down, I suppose. Ow, he hit me. Hey, he's dead, and he had a spear on him. 
The spear, I think, is, like, how is our short sword? So everything in this game has durability. The point of that is that you're never going to have anything for too long. Every item in the game, magical, mundane, or otherwise, has durability. And you can see it on that menu right there. And when it breaks, it breaks. Like, that's it. And so you're going to constantly want to have, like, a big docket of things in your backpack that you can swap in between. This is going to lower my damage pretty considerably. But it's going to save the durability on my sword, so I think I'll, I'll take it. Uh, we can't butcher that. It looks like I can gather. Can I? Oh, you can gather the ash from next to the shore. What is that? Soda ash. Okay. I don't know what that is, but hey. There's some mushrooms over here. I'll take them. Looks like there's a blackberry. There's a perch laying on the side. Okay. There's a rock right there. That's really, really good because we can press the C key. And with a rock, we can make ourselves a knife. Ow. Did somebody just chuck a rock at me? He did. That fish man right there, threw a, he threw a rock at me, bro. He threw a rock at me. What a jerk. I'm over here trying to make a knife after I just murdered his family. Oh, I don't even need to make a knife anymore. He had a knife on him. Okay. And there's a strawberry right there. I love strawberries, so I'm going to take that. How many more of these fish guys are around, dude? Are there are like a lot of them. Oh, there's one right there, too. Okay, let's close with this guy. We'll cast magic on him. There we go. We light his ass on fire. Our character is actually pretty strong. Like, I feel like I'm burying people way harder than I did when I was playing on, on my orc. Like, I feel like we're actually, like, taking skulls out here. I'm going to butcher that corpse right there because I need the food. Uh, so there it is. That has given us six fish meat. Nice. I'm also going to butcher you. Okay, he's all butchered up, so we should have enough meat to last a while. The other thing we're going to need to do is we'll drink out of the river real quick. Uh, I'll probably also clean myself up. It doesn't really matter. So, like, when you're playing as a human, or when you're playing as certain races that are presentable, like elves... If you come to town, like, covered in blood, they're going to know you're up to something. And so you got to, like, bathe before you go into town. Uh, when you're playing as a monster, the town is going to hostile you no matter what happens the second you're, like, along the periphery of it anyways. So I wouldn't even worry about it. But, like, you know, just something to keep in mind. Oh, nice, dude. Bunch of fish over here. Okay. Yeah, we got some goodies over here. Doesn't look like there's much else on this side. I wonder if you can forage from bushes and whatnot. Hmm. We're a little bit hungry, so I'll probably eat... Oh, that fish meat is cooked. Nice. Okay. Well, then I will eat the cooked fish meat. Now that we have a knife, we can actually dissect stuff. We have two rocks. Uh, we may be able to do something with the two rocks. So if we had three rocks, we can make an axe. And if we had one wood and four stone, we can make a mallet. I don't know exactly what the mallet is used for. Like, if it's supposed to be, like, a, a poor man's pickaxe? I'm not sure. Uh, we do have the time of day over here in the top right. It's afternoon right now. So we'll want to keep our head down ever so slightly. Because once it gets dark, we're going to want to go to sleep. What is that, a dead tree? Okay. And that's the edge of the map right there. Gotcha. I was kind of thinking the game might look a little bit better if I zoomed in, so there you go. I didn't precisely know how to do it, but I wanted to make an edit right there so you could actually see the action that's taking place uh, before too long. And in fact, I think it looks a lot more presentable like this. This is actually like the perfect amount of zoom for me. Uh, let's go ahead, and you could do that in the options, by the way, if you end up getting the game for yourself and you wanted to try that out. I don't know if we should fall back towards our little elf hole over there. Like, it is surrounded on all sides. Oh, there's another one over here. All right, light his ass on fire. And we're going to have to we're gonna have to kill him, I think. There we go. Now we got a little bit of heat going down on. We got to be really careful about our stamina, though, because it is shockingly low. All right, let's keep on running down here. We're just going to keep on trucking. Please don't be another fish, man. I was going to say, I can't deal with too much more right now. We're pretty tired. There's a bunny right there. I don't think I care about it. Uh, there is a fox over here that we could butcher up, but I'm going to try to get back inside my little circle over here because I think that's a really good idea. We're coming up on evening anyways, and so I think this is a good time to sort of like sate our hunger and take care of our character and then just kind of curl up over here. We'll use this as our lair. I would like to level up today before we go much further, but uh, I don't know. Let's go ahead and rest. It's the morning. 
Uh, so I think we want to check out one of these points of interest over here. It might be a village or something that we can rob and sack. And so I think it's... Oh, it is a village. Okay, we want to be careful over here then. Like, humans can be kind of deadly. Like, they tend to pile up on you. Like, there's a lot of them that live in these little towns. And if you kind of agitate too many of them at once, you're basically guaranteed a horrible, horrible stab-filled death. Looks like they've got a storehouse over here. They've got a short sword. I'll take it. Got a blueberry. I'm not going to take the straw. There's a letter right there. Oh, it's a recipe. Yeah, let me get that. And then I'll take their fish, too. All right, so we've officially robbed their well house. That guy might be headed out to investigate, so I'm going to fall back a little bit. Who are you? Uh, Darren, the human woodcutter. You see a male human with short hair shaved on the sides. He has green eyes. He seems to be of regular height for his race. You would describe him as elegant and harsh. He looks comparable to you. Okay. Well, he's going to get lit on fire just like anybody else. Have fun being on fire, jerk. Wow, that spell really, like... That spell really messes me up. All right, take him out, take him out, take him out. Our first human kill. So we've got a shirt now. We've got an axe so we can chop down trees. And then we've got linen pants right there. We're going to rest for a second and see if anybody investigates this guy, like, disappearing. I'm going to throw... Oh, we already had a shirt on. Okay, so we Winnie the Pooh in it out here. Gotcha. I'm going to put on the pantalones real fast. Our spear is about to go, so I'm going to swap the spear out for a short sword. Apparently, I'm fighting. I'm dual wielding right now, so we do 18 to 21 damage. And then our chance to hit... It's hard to say. It says 33 to 31, and I don't know exactly what that means. Like, I I guess we're rolling dice, because the weapon all, the weapons all seem to be, like, 1d6s and whatnot. But in all honesty, I don't know if that's, like, on a d100. We have to roll, like, lower than, like, a, like a 77 or, like, a 67. I don't know. I don't know exactly what that means. I'm going to eat a... Well, I don't need to eat a fish right now. We're not actually that hungry. All right, back in. We consumed his soul, which gave us five experience. Oop, there's another one over here. A farmer. Okay. Light him up. Wow. This character's way better than my orc, dude. This guy is, like, tearing it up right now. My orc had a lot of trouble, like, hitting humans and whatnot. I'm going to rest for a second. We do regenerate over time. Uh, keep that in mind. It's not super pertinent right now, but as you move around and do stuff, we're going to pick people off along the edges of the village. Our first dastardly evil deed. How's your mother these days? Man, rough town. Oh, no. I don't think they see me. I think we assassinated that one. There's a merchant over there. Okay, it looks like I can loot without getting into too much trouble. I'm going to run for it now. We don't want to get overwhelmed by too many humans. Uh, we kind of just want to pick them off and then run back to our lair. And we'll slowly level up that way. It looks like there's one extra tenacious humie that's following us into the woods. I might try to get them. A human traveler. Oh, he seems tougher than the other ones. Is he like an adventurer? I don't think he's an adventurer. I mean, he is dealing way more damage than all the other humans we fought thus far. Yeah, he had, he had like helmets and stuff. Okay, he's got some wheat grains. I'm going to take that short sword. Oh, maybe I'm not. Hold on. So inside my inventory, what can I do here? So we've got the bitter shirt. It reduces nature damage by... It looks like it does the same thing that the other one does. Huh. I'm going to salvage it. Maybe we'll learn how to make it. So salvaging is a big part of this game. You salvage stuff, and every time you salvage something, uh, there's a chance you will learn how to make that thing, and you can just craft it for yourself, which is why when your weapons get down to low durability, I'd recommend just salvaging away. Mm, I don't know if I want to use my last knife to fight. It seems like a bad idea because we need that to harvest cor corpses. Uh, we got wood right there. Didn't get anything from that. We've got a scythe of the fox. Yeah, throw that on. That's fine. We'll use that for a minute. I'm going to put you over there. I'm going to try to sort out some of my loot here. 
Shirt's still good. None of these shirts are magical, so we'll salvage them in the off chance that maybe we learn how to make a shirt. Uh, every single time you fail, your chance of learning the recipe goes up, so don't freak out about it too much. We'll learn how to make the primitive bow from right there. We do have a primitive short sword left, and we do have an actual short sword left, so probably be okay. It looks like that hat right there makes you take more damage from fire. Yeah, let's throw that on. Why not? Uh, we could probably do with eating some food real quick. We need to drink some water pretty fast, too. So another one bites the dust over here. There's another human over here. Oh, that one's a traveler, too. Well, these guys were pretty tough last time, so now I'm kind of worried. There you go. Light them up. HP still seems to be okay. I think we're just pairing each other right now. Ooh, this one's tough. He a tough guy. Is he, like, trying to run for it? I think he is. Yeah, light him up. Oh, no, dude. I think he's going to get away. He might be running me towards the center of town, too. That's okay. We don't leave victims up. We finished the job. We used the whole buffalo around here. There we go. We got him. We got him. We got him. All right. So I need to, like, steal some stuff, and then we need to get the hell out of here. That's really where we're at right now. He's got a cloak. I'm going to take it. He's got some pants. He's got some boots. What else is going on over here? Honey. Yeah, he's definitely got backup. So we need to, like, skeef around them and then just run back this way. And then I think we're going to fall back to our home uh, so that we can kind of rest and recuperate. Okay, our first hit and run went pretty good against the villages of man. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll go back up to the river. Hopefully there's no fishmen rattling around over here. If there are, that's going to kind of suck, but I need to, like, clean up, so that's exactly what we're going to do first. I actually, I don't even look at this map right here. I look at this map up in the top right corner, in case you're wondering how I'm navigating. I do think visibility in this game could be, like, a little tiny bit better. There we go. We got all the blood cleaned off of us. We'll drink some water real fast. I think I'll probably have myself a little bit of a lunch. There we go. There we go. Oh, we've got a cloak, so we can throw that on. We've got some pants that give us plus one to dexterity, so I'm definitely all about that. And then we got some pretty sweet-ass boots, too. So I'll put those on. Our resistances are growing pretty solidly right now. Uh, we're pretty weak versus electrical. But, I mean, against, like, every... As long as we don't get zapped with any lightning, I think we're going to be okay. Uh, we'll salvage that, because it's about to break anyways. We'll salvage the pants. Salvage the hood. And we've got some stuff. I don't know if we can craft anything decent right now. So we get a bow with two wood. Oh, cool. With linen, we can get bandages. So those will patch us up a little bit quicker. If we have ourselves a tailoring tool and we have leather, we can make ourselves a goat skin so we can carry our own water around with us. I think that's not a bad idea either. It's only noon right now. Man, I'm already gassed out at noon. But I guess I struck out at first light. To go and try and kill the humans, so I suppose that's kind of my own fault. Alright, well, let's head on back, and then we're going to go back inside of our little abode over here. And, I don't know, rest until I'm healed for a little bit, maybe? I don't know what time that's going to give me. Eh, the evening. I don't know if it's worth it. Is Does butchering an elf give me anything interesting? Looks like we got four meat. Just uh, generic meat right there. Okay, yeah. Sounds fine to me. I mean, we've got a food supply over here, so why not capitalize on it? Uh, we'll go ahead and we will sleep right here. And it looks like that took us right up into the morning. I'll probably go drink some water for the river. And then we will more than likely head back in to kill some more humans because they seem to have the loot 
that is worth the effort. I'll tell you what. All right, a little drinky drink right there. There we go, just a little drinky drink, Rand. Just a little drinky poo. Oh, hey, what's up, man? How you doing? What weapon am I using right now? A bone sword. Okay. There we go, he's down. I'll take his bone sword real fast. Mm, probably just sleep for a second until I get myself all patched up. It's not even like morning yet, so it's still like the dawn right now. Either way, we're almost to level one. Oh, there's another one over here? All right, bro, let's do this thing. Let's throw down. I'm about to put these middies on you, dude. So I think a blue means that you both parried because it synchronizes with the text right there, and that's actually a really nice effect. And then when you deal damage, it looks like you get the red flash. There we go. He's down. Am I, like, burning through my weapons right now? It does look like I'm kind of burning through my weapons. Uh, I guess I'll use my last short sword. I don't want to, but I think I'm going to have to. I don't think there's any way around it. I haven't learned, like, any recipes yet, which is deeply upsetting. I wish I learned some recipes by now. All right, so we're going to just kind of, like, chillax over here. It's kind of on the edge of town. Let the old HPs come back. Apparently a rabbit was investigating me while I was sleeping right there on the outside of town. All right, this dead guy over here. Don't really care about you. Let's follow this road down and kind of see what's up. Oh, there you are. What's up, bro? You're a merchant? Oh, that means you probably have goodies, dude. Oh, the merchant's pretty good at fighting. Ooh, the merchant also has backup. Okay, luckily I'm fast, so I can kind of backpedal. Yeah, it looks like kiting is actually an option given how speedy I am. I actually think this guy might make a decent bow build. Like, we might be able to do something with that. Get a little bit of that back. For right now, I'm just trying not to get caught, though. Like, I don't think I can handle the 2v1. Actually, the farmers are pretty weak, so I think I can take the farmers. It just seems like the upgraded humans are a little bit worse. All right, let's rest our stamina back up. We're just going to chill here for a minute. Let our whole meter come back. Ooh, a doublet. Nice. Okay. I might take a doublet. A doublet sounds pretty good. Is the doublet so it's frost and nature, and that's fire and frost? Okay. Yeah, throw that on. I was kind of hoping we'd find something that had, like, physical resist but it doesn't look like it's going to go that way. And we're almost out of weapons. Luckily, this guy's got a solid dagger, and he's got a scythe. But I can't pick it up because I'm too overloaded. What am I carrying around that's overweighing me? Is it the food? Oh, my carrying capacity is kind of terrible. Yeah, my carrying capacity could definitely be better. All right, well, let me salvage some stuff then. We're kind of failing all of our dice rolls to know how to make stuff right now. It's kind of upsetting. Man, 32% and we still failed it. That's like the eighth shirt we've gone through, man. Okay, by the math, it's the sixth shirt that we've gone through, but still. Um, I would like to have that scythe right there. I guess I can fall back to the scythe just in case we break my gear. What are you? A human merchant? Man, that last merchant was kind of tough, though. Alright, we'll just do it the cheese way. We're gonna bet. We're just gonna moonwalk away while shooting fireballs at him. Yup, just moonwalk away. There you go. Hee <laughs> hee! Jamon! He's definitely landing hits on me. Do I have a weapon right now? 
I've got a solid dagger at the moment. Oh, he's got more backup coming, too. There we go, there we go. Alright, so he's down. I need your weapon. Is that another merchant right there? Oh my god, there's so many merchants, dude. Okay. We're gonna rest right here. Just for a minute. Just so I can sling some more fireballs. God, I am so happy that we have a ranged option because we'd be getting overrun right now otherwise. Uh, I've just got primitive knives. Yeah, put in the axe. Maybe that'll help out. Yeah, the axe got damage on it. They don't want to play with the axe. Okay. I'm not afraid of you. It kind of seems like you are because you were shouting for help just a second ago. Hey, we leveled up. Nice, dude. So we get a new ability. Uh, we get intimidate, and so we can make a target run away for three for three turns. We've got grow a tree, or we've got ice bolt. Throws an icicle at a target that does 9 to 15 frost damage. That seems pretty spicy. I kind of want it. Yeah, just give me more damage right there. Oh, another one stumbled upon me while I was resting atop my atop my throne of corpses here. Uh, I'm gonna light you on fire then. Ooh, the blacksmiths tend to be tough though. Ooh, that did damage, son. Oh, ice bolt is nasty. Wow. It takes like no stamina. It does like 15 damage, dude. Oh man, that's the that's the heater right there. Okay, that's the spiciness right there. I'm gonna salvage the knife, salvage the sword. We still got another short sword rattling around. He had an apron. Oh, he's got a little belty boy too. Nice. There we go. Oh, he's got a hammer. You need a hammer in order to make, so if you can find an anvil, and you've got a hammer, you can start making, like, metal gear from the stuff you're salvaging. So that's a good come up. Uh, this is Solash, the evil dark god roguelike. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. Tomorrow I'll have something else hot and fresh for you off that indie skillet. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye, everybody.